Welcome back everyone. We are studying from the life of Deborah and we've seen that she and her team stepped into battle and they overcame the enemy in the most unusual way. We will talk more about it soon. But today what I want to uh, look at is the fact that even before the battle was won, Deborah proclaims victory. We read in Judges chapter 4 and verse 14, Then Deborah said to Barak, Up, for this is the day in which the Lord has delivered Sisera into your hand. Has not the Lord gone out before you? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor and 10,000 men following him. Isn't it interesting to note that the battle is still unfolding and in the midst of the battle, there is a proclamation of the end of the battle and the result of the battle. How in the world did Deborah know what would come out of this particular battle? We know that Deborah was a prophetess and therefore she was anointed by the Spirit of God to hear from God. And because she heard from God, her confidence was in the word that God had spoken, much more than what the circumstances around her were revealing to her. The battle was not a straightforward one. And even as you read about the different incidents that took place, it did not seem somewhere midway as if Barak was winning it. In fact, the enemy commander, Sisera, had escaped and uh, he had moved out of the control of Barak. And despite this situation, Here is Deborah proclaiming that God had already given the enemy into their hands. Now, there's something very important for us to learn from this. As we journey through our lives and as we battle different enemies that we have, and we are talking about spiritual enemies, though at times it may seem like we are losing, we have to proclaim the truth of God's word. And God's word has spoken over our lives the victory of the cross. And so let us speak that word knowing the result, you know, the, the, uh, the overcoming that Christ has already given us. We know that we are fighting a defeated foe in Satan. And we know that the Lord Jesus has made a public spectacle on him, uh, of, uh, public spectacle of the enemy by triumphing on the cross for us. And as believers, let us proclaim our victory. You know, we uh, quite often might get tempted to only describe the negative circumstances. But can we for a moment um, meditate on you know, God's word? Can we take a moment and look at what God's word says? John 17, 17 uh, says that the word of God is truth. And we must proclaim the truth of God's word. And also we read in Isaiah 46 and verse 10 that God is a God who knows the end from the beginning. So it is very much possible for us to know what is going to unfold or in other words, the outcome of our battles even as we step into them. So just want to encourage us to have God's word in our hearts as well as in our hearts. mouths can we pray together heavenly father we pray that your word will become real in our hearts god and uh, father we pray that even as we um, embed your word lord in our hearts that it will become our confession and that we too like deborah will be a people who proclaim victory in the midst of our battle lord we give you thanks we give you praise In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.